This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Hi, I'm Daniel from MobileGeeks.com here at Computex 2015 and we are having a look at the Endless One from Endless Computers and uh, David, the sales director for Central America, will give us a, an intro to the new Endless One computer. Thank you. So we are a technology company. Uh, our headquarters are based on Silicon Valley, California, but we are focused on emerging markets. We develop the product with, with them and researching with our users. So what we have here is the result of about four years of uh, research and development, and we developed something that is going to tackle all the problems that uh, our users have and why uh, they don't have technology or computers at this moment. First one is price, so we're going for a, for a computer that is affordable for them. Second one is because um, when you see people that have never had computers before, uh, and they uh, get into using a computer, it's really hard to use one. It's really hard to learn how to use one. Our operating system is really, really friendly. It's really user-friendly, and uh, it requires it requires minimum, minimum training. And the third one is because in emerging markets, internet uh, penetration is really, really low. In some countries, we are talking about 85% of the population that don't have access to internet. So what we have done here is something that is going to solve these three problems. As you can see, uh, the screen of the of the desktop and the operating system that we have, it 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 is something that our users can really relate to. Why? Because it was developed thinking about something that they have been using for a long time, which is a cellular phone, right? It is a it is an uh, an operating system based on applications. Uh, we have a whole ecosystem of applications which are really really useful for our market. Uh, we are. Uh, focusing on three main pillars, which are education, uh, productivity, and, and entertainment. So, for example, if you want to uh, know something about, for example, Germany, then you can search for uh, Germany and human rights, for example, in the encyclopedia, which is um, which has a lot of content offline. Yeah. So let's let's go here, search for Germany, for example. As you can see, there are a lot of content related to Germany. And this one right here gives you the en encyclopedia content of Germany. And all of this is available offline. So good. So what if you want to uh, know more about different topics? We have the, um, we have the Khan Academy application, with, uh, which has a lot of videos related to math, sciences, economy, and humanities. For example, uh, if you want to search something about healthcare and medicine, okay, so we have eight video tutorials here that will tell you something about glucose, for example. Yeah? Okay. So what about if you want to make uh, some homework, if you want to do work at office or at a, at a uh, local business that you have? Well, you can have a uh, word processing program. You can even have a spreadsheet. Yeah? But we also are uh, we're also adding very important contact for for our users. For example, you will have a health application. If you launch the health application, you can search for uh, a wide variety of of, of uh, content. And is and this type of content is really important because let's uh, let's try to understand that some of our users don't even know how to make first aid. You know, and if you go here and search for first aid and say that you want to know something about choking, how to attend a person that, that is having a choke attack. So this application will tell you something like this, which are the symptoms, the cause, the treatment, and what you can do with it. But it also has entertainment. We have a music player. We have, uh, in media, we also have a video player. Because our users are also interested in, in uh, in entertainment, you know. I'll cho I just uh, use the multitasking function for the for the operating system. So I'm gonna go here. I'm going to go to the games carpet, and as you can see, we also have games. Most of them are educational, but we also have a strategy games and um, and entertainment games. So what we have here is something that is tailored for them. Uh, is something that it can be uh, a tool 
not only for for computer but also because we are trying to give them knowledge we are trying to give them information that can definitely have a a, a, a good impact in their lives so they, they can make a positive change of it okay. what about prices and uh, maybe let's have a quick tour around the device okay what kind of ports are inside perfect So this is our device. This is our hardware. This is Endless One. What you see here is the is the is the computer. You will see a 3.0 uh, USB port here. It comes ready with an HDMI uh, connection, VGA, RJ45, the energy output, and um, as you can see, you can use it with your TV. Actually. Uh, most of our target market has a TV at home, so they don't need to uh, buy anything else. Actually, you, they can turn their, to, their TV into a computer. So it's HDMI ready, uh, it's VGA ready as well. And um, yeah, it, it comes with two configurations. The, the first configuration is a 32 gigabyte uh, model, um, and the other configuration is 500 gigabyte model. The 32 gigabyte model is going to be at a price around $169 FOB price, and the 500 gigabytes is going to be around $229. The the main difference besides the the, the hard drive space is that the 500 gigabyte model is going to be equipped with a Wi-Fi antenna with Bluetooth and a built-in speaker. The 32 gigabyte model doesn't have a Wi-Fi, but it can also be connected to the internet via a USB modem. So, um, so you can go for each model and uh, you will have full desktop operating system with a lot of content, which is the most important part of it. Okay, thank you very much. This is the Endless One computer for the emerging mar markets. Um, it, is, it has started already for, for sales, right? So it's, it's already for sale. Yeah, we're starting sales uh, right now in Mexico and, and, and Guatemala. We are trying to deploy uh, our product to other markets as well, but right now we are starting sales in, in Mexico and, and, and Guatemala. Yeah.